Hello and welcome back to this third tutorial. In this tutorial I like to show you how you can make some position template phases. So let's jump right into it. This is the view we um, left the last time for the color phases. And now as we like to make a position phaser we need some other pools. We need a position preset pool. Change the view to auto again. And now I would like first to make some presets. Take my wash group and make a position preset of minus 45 degrees. Oh. Minus 45 degrees. Store it. Make another one of minus 90 degrees it and I like to do the same for my spot fixtures now we label things so and the last thing before we start right away is I would like to make so, uh, two more uh, sequences. I take my spots, 45, store presents and store a second step with 90 degrees and label it spot position. And then I would like to do the same for the wash fixtures. Second step, create the zone. Wash position. So I clear out everything. And if you would like to achieve the same behavior of the preset, uh, the sequence pool as I have here, if I push the sequences, they uh, go plus. Then what you have to do is uh, push the MA sign at the top left corner of the sequence pool and change the action down here from the default is select to go plus. So. Now what I like to explain a bit is the difference between an absolute and a relative phaser. Um, the phasers we did for the dimmer and the color are absolute phasers because they they phase between two or more values which are absolute. For example, zero percent and one hundred percent intensity. Um, that would be an absolute phaser. If you would like to do a relative intensity phaser, you would say something like um, minus 25 and plus 25. And then you need to have a sequence where, for example, a dimmer value of 50% is coming from. And then the um, relative dimmer phaser would um, phase around this 50% downwards minus 25 and upwards 25. For um, dimmer and color phases I mainly use absolute values because I want to have the exact um, intensity value or color value but for a position phaser you normally would like to do it in a relative way so the position all your fixtures are at they circle around this point. Okay, 
So I show you how to do it. I'll off my sport fixtures so we only can see the wash fixtures. I take the first wash fixture, select it, and then I select this icon here and I make the first step here and the second step here. And if you would like to make things more exact, for example, you don't want uh, to hit the um, beam of the fixture uh, um, um, LED wall in the back or some someone who doesn't have to be lighted up by it, you can uh, activate the single step and then if you would cycle through the steps the phaser wouldn't phase and it shows you the exact value. And now you could um, give it some more precise values. For example, the pan value I would like to set to zero and then I would like to have minus 30 degrees and in the first step I have, would like to have pan of zero and tilt of 30 degrees. And now if I put off the single step it would circle in a straight line. Now if you would like to have a circle, because now you only have a tilt wave, you can do it in two different ways. You can change it the form and now in the position attribute you have a fourth form, a circle, and you can push it here and you get a perfect round circle. That would be one way. I oops it, but you can also hit this sign here. Then you should select both steps. Therefore, you can hit this button here and then you can stretch out an oval or a circle as you would like to. These are the two ways. Now you get a perfect circle here. Um, it's a bit fast for my taste, so I would make it a bit slower. I think this should be much better to see for you. You can do it here or you can press here, the position attribute, and then go to phaser overall and then to speed and here you can see the BPM. Now I press and hold the store button, change the preset mode from auto to universal and store it right here. And now I can call it circle for example. Now we could make a smaller circle for example. First step, second step. Position I want another value, 15 for example, 0, and minus 15, and 0. Select both, select the form, make it a bit smaller, and now go here, position, phaser over all, speed, click in here and for example tell it to be 15 ppm and hold the store button, change 
from auto to universal and store it here. And now we have a circle 15. Okay. Now we could take all of our spots and they would do the same thing. And what I can show you with the um, absolute and relative thing, I set my spots at the position we stored before in the sequence, uh, my wash fixtures. And now you can see they circle around this point from minus 45 degrees. And if, w if I would go to the... Um, 90 degrees position, now they would circle around this position. Okay. As we did in the other tutorials, now we make another phaser with the recipe. We go to our all pool, we take this one for example, give it a face 360 degrees. And now if I do this, I have this kind of look here. And I could also copy this one edit the settings again and for example change this one to 180 and give it a wings of 2 we get another look but it's not quite the way you would hoped it or imagined it that it would be a bit more symmetrical now you see that it does the wings of two but it's not as you would like to have it therefore you could go you have to go to edit settings and down here in the transform you have to activate the mirror and it, the invert style should be the pan value. Now, now you get it more symmetrical as you, I think you would like to have it. You can do the same things uh, by only using the pan or the tilt value for this kind of looks. Um, and I can also show you that we, if we do the spots and our phasers would also work with them. I hope this um, helps a bit and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.